The idea of me just being a part of X Games was so big. That opened my eyes to seeing that this was possible. Bro, I was dreaming of this run. BMX is no boundaries. Bird skateboarding is like a beautiful art. Skateboarding doesn't matter any age, country, female, male. You know, it's just going big and making your run. You go out and you have to push the boundaries of what anyone believed was possible. Now it's more personal. That's how we evolve. That's, those are the milestones in our, in our sport. There may be some hardships that come with contests, but at the end of the day, what else would you rather be doing? Go to X. Get to the park. Going over to Japan is going to be really sick. The culture is beautiful. Food, Japanese food. Lots of bright lights. And the X Games. We are showcasing our talent and our sport to a different audience that isn't as used to seeing it. Another impressive ride. The environment's cool, the stadium's dope. The course was pretty sick. I like the way they designed that one. He's got a bag of tricks, Gary. Skateboarding over there has just been growing exponentially. Wow. BMX is thriving in Japan. A lot of hype, a lot of good energy. The talent that's coming out of Japan is unmatched. Starting things off, the X Games rookie. Guys like Yuto. Oh, no! Came out of nowhere and just white pools out. That's Hall of Fame stuff right there. The people are so passionate. Japanese people are so stoked about X Games. They are so hyped. <laughs> I'm looking forward for this year. And I know everything's going to be just as awesome as it was last year, if not better. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way. We've been doing it around the same yeah, amount of time. We just went different ways with it. Like, people would travel to that kind of stuff. It was, like, more only park scene. I'm one of those people where I have to have all this planned out mm -hmm. before I even drop in. But when it comes down to it, it's like there's so many factors that play into that moment in time. And well, it's like ease. there's so many things you could wake up that morning, that's like just on the wrong side of the bed, and that'll throw your whole yeah. day off. That's half the battle is just like being in the right headspace and kind of like just going with the flow. And that's what's so hard, too. When you do show up to a contest, it's like I feel like when I'm riding practice, I'm I'm, I'm me, I'm, this is me, I'm in my zone, yeah. in my bubble, not one thing's messing up my energy, my vibe, and I'm feeding off of all of you guys, and then I'm about to drop in, and it's like I'm slipping pedals and messing up a little <laughs> yeah. thing. That's what I'm like. Bubble pops. Bubble <laughs> pops, you know? <laughs> the sacrifice, like, say, if I'm just nose manualing from here to there, and it ruins my run, you guys don't land a trick. You guys, like, die when you don't land. <laughs> like, I'm not finna die running off my bike. It's like full commitment yeah, on their side. Yeah, you're more committed, because you got five jumps in front of you. <laughs> Knowing that I have to turn it up in a contest is one of those things that I look forward to having. You know, it's the adrenaline that boosts that emotion and, and gets you going and, and gets you past that next step. I think that's something that we're all looking for, and, and it's literally now or never. Welcome to Chiba, Japan, the capital city of the Chiba Prefecture, sitting just about 25 miles to the east of Tokyo. It is home to the Zozo Marine Stadium, which plays host to X Games Chiba 2022. Today, we bring you the BMX Park Final. We had a field of 16 riders yesterday in the elimination round. We have now cut that field in half. You got a couple of returning medalists in the field, as well as a couple of X Games rookies. There's a look at our next competitor, Kevin Peraza. Kevin Peraza is on course. I love this line here. Big 360 invert. Oh, there's that 360 downside tail, followed by the flare. That trick that he does, the 360 downside whip, and he leaves the can-can over the top tube of that bike is so cool. It's very original Kevin Peraza. He's so creative, he's so talented. He's a guy, he could really pull out the upset here. I mean, I think he's he, he's so creative that he could uh, really figure something out in this bowl that a lot of these other guys haven't thought of yet. There's that opposite tail up right there. The G turn on the box jump backwards. Another impressive ride for Mr. Kevin Peraza. 
So that's gonna bump him up one spot right there. That'll jump him up into that silver spot. Nowadays, to get to the podium, there's so much work that goes into play from self-conditioning, working out, training, and obviously studying the sport, being a complete nerd and knowing exactly what the judges are looking for. Justin Dowell possibly looking at his first ever X Games medal here. He sits in a bronze medal position. There's that windshield wiper that he wanted in that first one, straight into the Twix right there. Justin Dow's got a really great run going. 540, tuck no hander. Trying to remain in that top three position. Back up into the full section. Classic look back. A lot that's going on in this run early on. There's that 540 with the tail whip. Do you see how easily he brought that one around? Puts it down, gets speed out of it. This is a good run, Jimmy. I mean, I, that's huge right there at the end for Justin Dowell's fourth and final attempt there. Who sits on the out. Justin Dowell's gonna overtake Kevin Barraza and bump himself up into a silver medal spot for now. Competition definitely pushes progression because every time somebody's pulling something you can't believe they just pulled in front of people. They and then it cool. sets that tone, and then you're like, oh yeah, I guess we all are pros. It gives you a little reminder boom, of like, yeah, like right, I'm it's not my just... time to shine, yeah. I think. In park, there's a time and place where I feel like you can pull the trigger and, mm -hmm. and do something new, and it's like you gotta be in the moment, the run's gotta be flowing, and it's like it reminds you of like why did I even work on this trick so hard yeah. for the last few weeks or months or even years? to not even put it out on the table and really show these dudes what I've been up to. And I feel like it, you roll the dice, bro. It either works or it doesn't work, but when it works, you're like, oh, hell yeah. And then you're at the top of the leaderboard and now you're trying to perfect that run in the next run. Yeah. But I think it's one of those things that really, I think is the reason why we all get out of bed every day chasing what we're chasing. This will be the last round of runs. Here comes Mr. Gold Medal himself. Logan Martin is dropping in current leader and picking up where he left off. And this is what I was talking about. He does a lot of back and forth here, doesn't do a lot of carving, doesn't hit a lot of the hips, but check out this big transfer with a double tail whip. This is some classic Logan Martin, just able to adapt to the course and really make things happen. There's that 720, looked like he wanted a little bit more in that. He makes my job really easy because everything he does is so proper and clean. Everything looks the way that it's supposed to. Just so fun to watch ride. It's unreal how dialed he actually is. Just made short work of that deep pocket transfer he did over there. Just putting together another great line here. Just putting on a demo out there, really. I mean, my goodness. Huge on the flare tail whip. Logan Martin finds himself yet again a BMX Park gold medalist here at the X Games. How about Justin Dowell taking the silver and Kevin Peraza adds a bronze medal to his trophy case. Congratulations, Logan. What's it like being back on top? Oh yeah, I'm stoked to be back in Japan. Uh, stoked to be competing at another X Games. And uh, yeah, I mean, it feels amazing to win another gold medal. Number, number four. Um, I, yeah, I really came out to get this done, and uh, man, it feels so good. Well, congratulations one more time, Logan Martin. Well, that's a wrap from the BMX Park Final. Congratulations once again to Logan Martin, once again claiming X Games Park Gold. It might be a clean sweep for Japan this year. Yeah, all these little kids that are skating way Trifles. beyond their years, yeah. and it's just proper lip tricks, and it's gonna be crazy to see where they're at in like five years. But it's really cool to see because I think for a long time, you didn't really see anyone coming yeah, out of Japan. Yeah, I never really saw like anyone coming out of Japan for a while, and then like they just took over every aspect. Yeah, they're all killing it, yeah. A beautiful afternoon rolls on here at X Games Chiba as we now bring you the Women's Skateboard Park Final. We've got eight skateboarders in our 30-minute jam session, 40 seconds per run. The best run counts. 
Mami, of course, our silver medalist from last summer. Mami Tezuka, 50-50, Carvage. Mami's flying, actually. Whoa. Batsmith getting up to the gap. OK. That alone should be really high points because nobody's doing that. My most memorable competition could be the one when I was 12. And I think I got second or first. <laughs> Mommy is just setting this park course ablaze yeah, nah, yeah. here today. Front 5 out through the corner. She's setting up for it. Japanese people likes to focus on one thing and then practice. Like, they love to win. <laughs> That bronze medal spot is where she will stay. Kokono Harake. Still in that silver medal position. Leaning things up on run number two. Ooh, wow. nose grind is that, that was special. Ooh. Turning it like an ellipse slide. Back crew. Three. Oh! First, second, and third are definitely going to be Japanese skaters. We just don't know which ones. Is it easy to beat Sakura? <laughs> I mean, she has a lot of tricks of selection. I don't know. You'll see. <laughs> Sakura, our current leader. The level of skating that comes out of Japan is insane. Amazing style on the bowl. They're killing it out there for sure. What does Sakura do here? It's refined skateboarding. It's what you see a lot of through the Japanese skateboarders. It's how you would like to do the trick, but can't do it. Backside, tail slide. And it's been like, I think refreshing and intimidating. It is going to be Japan representing first, second, and third. Sakura Yosuzumi wins gold. The first of her X Games career and Japan making history. A clean sweep of the podium. Sakura's skating, her tricks are extremely unique and the reason why she's uh, on the podium at most of these contests. At the end of the day, Sakura Yosuzumi reigns supreme. For me personally, it was hard. My mom was not hyped on skateboarding at all, whatsoever. Like. I asked if I could do like boxing and she was like, no. And then she was like, okay, well, she met me in the middle with skateboarding. And then she's like, if you skateboard, you have to do another sport on the side because skateboarding is not gonna get you like a scholarship or anything like that. And I was like, whatever, like I'll do like softball, basketball, whatever on the side. I ended up falling like in love with skateboarding more. Like I was like the, one of the only girls at the skate park like actually like trying to skate. So it was like, I think the two advice would just be like embrace being like, not an outsider, but kind of just be okay with that, have more faith, I guess, and just go more 100, you know? Welcome to Zozo Marine Stadium, where today we hit the streets for the women's skateboard street final here from X Games Chiba. This young lady demands your attention just 12 years young. Chloe Cavell, it's her first competition, Gary, outside of her native country of Australia. Oh, but Tifa, she just stuck it. She's just so like, bro, this is so beast to see. At 12, kid. Oh, wow. hold on, yo, 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 yo. Now, I do believe she should stay in third place for that. Can Funa? make up some ground here. All the Japanese skaters right now, are all, they're all the ones that are pushing the levels for, for consistency and for new tricks. Back over crook. I want to see this. Front blunt. Front feeble. Ooh, that front feeble. That was good. Funa Nakayama jumping up into the silver medal spot. But here's Haisa Liao. I can't believe we have not spoken about her until right now, Gary. That was steel on that make. We'll take that. Back Smith. Front blunt on the big rail. Most talent, the most grace, and the most steed young age, bro. It's good to see. 
Alexa Lael has just earned her first X Games medal, it's gold. And in doing so, becomes the youngest gold medalist in women's street history. That has never been done. X Games, summer, music, and you. That's right, fans are back at X Games this summer. Be part of three action-filled days in sunny Ventura, California. As a kid, for me at least, it was definitely just like the idea of going fast and doing airs. It's just like a cool feeling. All the skaters that I looked up to at that time were either like verse skaters or dudes that just hauled ass on a skateboard. The, the one like older guy I grew up around skating too, who was like, never really saw him skate, but I trusted him with my life. It was just like, anytime I wanted to learn anything, it was like, go faster, go <laughs> higher. What a day for X Games. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the Men's Skateboard Park Final here at X Games Chiba. You know, Gary, you could live your whole life and never see a park contest with this type of talent. So here's Liam Pace, our defending X Games gold medalist in park. Got up gingerly after his first run, didn't land his second attempt. Sixth place is where he stays. That nose grind on that extension is getting that five, a little bit of pivot in that one. Ooh, that was a crazy car. Oh, that was out of nowhere. Build a back disaster on that extension, popping back into that. What is he lining up? What is he lining up? Big backside air to tail. Going in fakey. Full cat back D. That's good to get after he was limping. I don't really care if you do a 900 in a bull contest. If you start your run going fast and you still have a lot of speed at the end of your run and you're doing high airs, I think that wins. Speed and style is probably most important. Kieran Woolley sitting in that silver medal spot. Can he leapfrog Jagger Eaton and take back first place? <laughs> it's so good. Jesus. Big bones. They are both amazing at learning that much, bro. So here's His Kieran boy Woolley. Is ripping. Like, Kieran is really good. Kieran is hype, bro. Like, I. I the Aussie 18-year-old still hard to believe this is his X Games debut. Look at that! Wow! wow. Yo, all right. Well, I just seen something that needs to be something where I think it might Skating is very subjective, and for some people, that's just going fast and doing long grinds and big airs, and for some people, that's more technical. You know, there's flip tricks, and it's easier for people to really explore skating in a park setting. I don't really have, like, a favorite trick. I guess, like, just a nice kickflip or, like, a frontside ollie is super fun. Honestly, the simpler tricks are what's really fun for me. We wondered what medal he was going to get. And right now, he's on the outside looking in. But here is Jagger Eaton, who Come climbed on. that ladder all the way into oh, the silver medal spot. Oh, no grab kickflip, just kickflipping that gap in the start. That is not something you ever want to try to do during a contest, because that's just dangerous. Flip tricks, period, will just ruin everything. Woo! You seen him waxing his board, made me feel like it was a little sticky. No grab three, coming in fakey. Lost a lot of speed. Half clap front blunt. Big air. Finishing out with those grind fakey. There you go. There you go. I'm not gonna lie, that kickflip in the beginning is. That's where you pay attention to skateboarding. That's like adding a difficulty level. He's so calculated. He knows exactly what the judges want to see. What an unbelievable moment for Jagger Eaton, earning his fourth X Games medal. And this one gold. Thank you, this is the best day of my life. 
I swear to God. That's kind of what inspired me to, to start skating, skating vert in particular. Like, seeing that on TV was just like, I don't know, just the whole energy and aura of like everyone around him trying to like hype him up to do it. Man, I don't know, it was just such a moment, you know? You guys wanna see the 900? It doesn't feel like to me like there's been a moment like that like again, that. if there will be. Nah, there never in is. skateboarding, you know? Like, you can, like no matter how many people do a 900 or whoever goes beyond that, yeah. there's like, it's never been that moment. Like, that's like one Ultimate of one. Ultimate nostalgic never, moment. Yeah, just, Tony's the GOAT. The GOAT. It's X Games Chiba, and we bring you now Skateboard Vert Best Trick. The main difference about X Games Vert Best Trick is that it gives you more than one try. It gives you multiple tries at something that you either are not consistent with or you've never done before. And you would not try that move in a regular competition setting because you only have so much time, you only have so many walls, there's a good chance you're gonna fall. Oh my. Jeez. I think it's super exciting. I mean, it's a lot of bails, I get that. But when something gets made, it's almost definitely something that you've never seen before. So here's Clay Kreiner, who has not yet landed a run. Oh! Remember, even if that clock expires, since Clay Kreiner is dropping, every other skater will get a sixth run. <laughs> that was ready. All right. I can only speak for myself, but I will practice something over and over and over, leading up to best trick, and then when it's time to make it, you got to put it together. Gee Curry. And with his new height, let's see how it works for him. Was that first? That was a nine. Try? That was a nine? Yeah, that was a nine. OK, I was yep. like, he did not just. No. Go ten. You, don't go, you don't go 10 yeah, right out of the gate say, at X Games say, Chiba. It took me a second, bro. I was like, hold on. Did he just easily 10 like that? <laughs> he just did a first try. <laughs> hey. That is wow. a 1080 wow. at X Games Chiba from Gee Curry. Wow. Here's Mitchy Brusco. Bigger flip five. This is a grown man trick. Yo! Okay. What a performance. And so many of these skateboarders saving their best for last. But at the end of the day, it was Mitchie Brusco earning gold in Vert Best Trick. Definitely one of the highlights of my skate career was doing 900 at the 99 X Games. And now here we are over two decades later and I'm back in Best Trick. Personally, it means a lot to me to be skating in the Best Trick or, or in the X Games at all because we span so many generations now. I'm definitely one of the oldest skaters to be doing it like that. What sport can you say that that, that age range is competing and actually doing it you know, in a way that, that's relevant, that's progressive? I can't think of one. I feel like I'm winning because I'm always happy skating, you know, like be able to skate and travel the wood with friends. That's the big winning that yeah. we got, you know? I think it's fun for me, like, not even to win, but to just set a goal to, all right, I want to be in the top five this time. All right, now I want to be in the top three. Now, I, all right, now I've been in the top three enough times, I want to win. Like, they've been just doing it. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. you set your goals and you keep moving. They've been up. just doing a trick that you never done in a contest and oh, leaning right. on it, that's a win. Yeah. Oh, because you're progressing. Oh, so, yeah. Like, or doing a trick that nobody's done in a contest before. Right. Like, that's Or even getting, like, a respect for some skater that you never thought it would be like, say what right. up to you, you know, yeah. like, oh, whatever, you're in a contest, like, you did a trick and the shot comes back, yo, that was sick. Yeah. That's a winning oh, sometimes for, for sure. me, you know, like, yeah. just getting respect for other people just seeing the way you skate. If you're looking for a battle, you've come to the right place, as it's now time for our men's skateboard street final. Deshaun Jordan, our defending X Games gold medalist from street last summer. Jake Elardi. 
Jake doing that big foot from Borfaki. So here's Kelvin, who has won this event twice before. Cave foot back with Faki. So now Jack, we said, could he go double gold? Could he at least go double podium? Lucas Rabello here making his X Games debut. Wow! Everyone wants everyone to do the best they can for sure. But at the same time, everyone's also wanting to do the best they can, right? So like, it's such an inside your head kind of situation when you get to these contests that like, you kind of just go into autopilot and just straight focus and gotta do what you gotta do. All three Japanese skateboarders, respectively, in that gold, silver, and bronze position. Sora Shirai, he's got a bag of tricks, Gary. Oh That'll my! That'll make you say Yo. that. FT wet up outside and then get buckled and <laughs> reality set in after doing a trick like that because it's not a best trick contest. I think that's what's nice about the X Games format. I think it's easier to judge a run than it is like the single tricks, picking, comparing yeah. which single trick is better than one single trick or like a whole, which whole run is better than which other whole run. A run is like a fruit basket, right? You don't have to like all the fruits in the basket, but they gotta all be fresh. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. To make a podium these days, they gotta be some bangers. You gotta flip your board or, or spin a 270 onto a rail or something like that. And yeah, do some good tricks, some different stuff, because all the, the course is different on X Games, so you have to just go in for it and skate, do your best. An X Games rookie, 15 years old, Daiki Aikida. Kick flip front, blunt after that bigger flip front board. Talk about the pressure being on. 270, uh, the little raindrops that was falling on his head just helped him get that trick. Can't stand it, but that's a good, that's a hard one. He did it actually pretty pinnacle too. Trey flipped through, whoa. Wow. And the weight certainly not hampering uh -uh. young Daiki. He came to win. Oh, he came to, he, you're not done. No, Yuto still has to go in, right? Alan, do you not know that? Yuto is celebrity status big time out there in Japan. They love him. And it's it's epic to see, you know? I've seen videos on the internet, and the fans are going crazy for Yuto. Yuto Horagome, our top ranked qualifier, our gold medalist back in 2019. Yo, his style doesn't make any sense. Nope, keep going. Don't good. stop. It's all good. Now, I've just gotten word while he, Yuto, is the final skateboarder of our field of eight, it does look like we will indeed get a second run. Okay. That's so good. we will move on through. What is he going to try here? Because earlier somebody said he fell. What is he about to do? No, he's not going to do that. Oh, it's over. Stop. You're done. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> I think Yuto's like kind of like the way we are from the zero bringing. I think Yuto's like opened the gates for other Japanese kids. There's so many. Okay. They get inspired from him for sure. <laughs> he went in and did it. He won the Olympics and still doing it now. Had all these other Japanese, even Japanese like girls too. Mm -hmm. They're crazy. They're yeah. going off. I mean, he's the first Olympic gold medalist skateboarder. What does Yuto Horagome do for an encore? Does he just clean it up and then end with that banger once more? Or does no, he know he's playing he with house money? What if he has... Oh, no! I'm just... Ah! I don't even got words for I'll... Say it, Gary. I don't have words! You gotta I... say something. I ran out! No, no one believes that. Okay, I lied. But look. Yo, he does that trick this run. It's, it's does he look bored? Yes! He looks like skateboarding is. Uh oh. He's doing something. Oh. You took this. <laughs> Bro is ridiculous at this point. He's ridiculous at this point. Like where he met skateboarding. He didn't meet it at the level it was at. He met it above and was just like, hey, catch up, everybody. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, hey, come on. And it wasn't like a who's this dude, he could win situation. It's like, who's this dude? Oh, he just won. I'm following the mud. Oh, back the mud. <laughs> you 
even you, we was all competing. I think what makes competitions unique is more along the lines of how hard a lot of these guys are working, the dedication, the discipline, sacrifices, and slams on learning and perfecting and polishing everything up daily to getting there and like cracking under pressure. You know, there's so many things that, that you go through before you even drop in. Heart rate's racing, you're nervous, you feel like you've never dropped in before. That's what makes it so unique first, like just seeing me ride for 45 seconds at the park right now because that 45 seconds don't mean the same as oh, no. this 45 seconds. So it yeah. makes the riding a little more special. People do different things. You try different tricks. You get hyped when you feel eyes on you yeah. and yeah, want to do something. So, so dope, it does man. make you ride different. The contest runs kind of show how much time and like energy that we put into the riding. Because if you're trying to put all these tricks into one 45 second run and like make it as consistent as possible. But, but it makes some possible. special stuff happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As nightfall sets in on the edge of Tokyo Bay, we fire up the lights here inside the Zozo Marine Stadium. Tonight, it plays host to X Games Chiba 2022 and the BMX Street Final. It is the best run that counts. I love street just for the environment. I love it for the style that comes with it. I feel like I can express myself. It just feels natural. Well, here we go. Garrett Reynolds, what's he got for us? Hard way, 180 tail whip. He always delivers. I mean, in 15 X Games BMX Street starts, he has never missed the podium. He's on fire right now, Jimmy. We watched him do this in Austin a few years ago where he had to stomp a run at the last second. He did just that. Toothpick hanger up, over pedal grind, double peg, bar spin. Is that bar spin the double peg? Oh, and he keeps it going. So he'll jump up into the top three. He's not gonna take the top spot. However, he's in that silver medal position for now. Devin Smiley looking at a potential bronze medal right now. I go into it. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just, I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. I'm just trying <laughs> to be I in this zone. Well. <laughs> like, the same thing, bro. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, I have to have my runs playing yeah. down in my head. So then, like, yeah. all practice, I figure out my runs, or whatever. Everyone, I would say, gets nervous, but it's just kind of figuring out how to calm yourself down and be confident about what you're about to do and know that you can do it. You kind of have to remind yourself every day of a competition changes, like your mentality, even confidence going into it, whatever it may be, but it's just constantly reverting like back, like I'm gonna be okay regardless. Putting myself into that mindset, I usually do better because it takes the stress away and then I can enjoy it. I just vision everything working out how I want it to and that's like all I want. Yeah, Devin, the king of casual out of Suwannee, Georgia. Just makes things look so easy. Look at this line right here. Over ice pick grind out of that manual. Stepping it up a little bit. I like to see the guys that keep improving on their runs. It's a similar line to what we've seen, but he's mixing it up with a few different tricks here and there. What's he gonna do on this little jump through here? We've seen him mix it up quite a bit. There's the 180 seat grab again. Nice swag to bar spin to fakey sliding that tire down. Going over double peg again. Bonking that back peg up to 180. 360 bar spin and he hangs on to it. And it slides him up into that second place position behind Lewis Mills now. So he bumps Garrett Reynolds down into bronze. A big part of street riding is camaraderie when it comes down to X Games and the street BMX dudes and us. So it's just a blessing to be around them. It motivates you when you see them doing their thing and makes you want to do your thing. So it's just a good environment. And here comes Lewis Mills, who now finds himself in that number five spot. Starting off his run in a similar way to how he did before. I can't express how crazy it is to throw those bars into a double peg grind down the handrail. You gotta get those handlebars around and lock into that front peg. Otherwise, you go OTB and you usually dive to the flat bottom. These guys love the pegs up the hard way, 360. Crooked grind to bar spin to manual to crooked grind, weighty out. Wow. Solid run right now from Mr. Lewis Mills. That's a full pull right there. See that huge 
double peg up, big 360 out. There's the crooked grind to bar spin to manual. And then another crooked grind going crooks in the other way. And oh, it's enough to take the top spot, so the lead changes again. That is going to seal it right there. That seals the deal. And Garrett's going over to congratulate Lewis Mills on his first X Games gold medal. Wow. We really are all the same. We all have the same passion. We're all just as dedicated and hardworking. I think we are the elites of the sport. We are the next yeah. generation of guys inspiring the next and the next generation of other kids that could potentially be in our spots, keeping us on our toes daily. I love the feeling of trying to do as many like hard tricks as I can back to back to back. That's why I love vert is because you can go back to back to back in tricks and it gets you better at tricks because it's one thing doing a trick and it's one thing being able to do a trick Landing and then good enough exactly setting yourself another up into another hard trick. I don't know, I just love vert because it's more open. If I want to do a five, it can be done here and in park it's like, all right, so that wall is the only wall I can do a five on because they, the wall over here is too mellow or whatever, you know. Also, this is why Tate didn't kill it in park, because Tate belongs on the bird ramp. Day becomes night here at the inaugural X Games Chiba as we welcome you now to the skateboard bird final. So, Guy Curry. Are you doing TikTok? Yeah, I was just going to say, the stoke is real with young Guy. Don't, no, don't do the hip dance till you win. How about the youngest talent out here today? 13-year-old Guy Curry. Through a nine? That just, was that just a? Leisurely. Was that just a fakey seven? Do a nine? No doubt he's got the rotations. We saw that. Nine? We seen it. Yeah. Yeah, we do that now. 13. And, well, first off, Keep the nine. Or oh, remember, he was doing that when he was eight years old. Oh, I know. He out here. You look at a kid like Guy, who's, you know, spinning like crazy, and that's that's always cool. Moto, and he's just like king of style. You know, he's doing a lot of things that not everyone else does. That's always fun to watch. Crowd's gonna sound a little louder for this next rider to drop in the lone Legend. Japanese skater in this field, Legend. Moto Shibata. I remember hearing this name and just being like, that's not a real name. Y'all made that up for contest. Three X Games medals, including a gold back in 2017. We have not Fakey seen five. him at X Games Ooh. since 2019. Seen that alley -oop lip Smith? I'm glad the judges know better. Look. Sheesh. That was good. That was good. Went right up to Jimmy, too. Jimmy's like, well, all right, hold on now. <laughs> Moto Shibata. And now, Jimmy Wilkins. Yeah, Jimmy is definitely one of the top dudes right now in Burt. Jimmy, I'd say, is probably if not definitely the best dude of our oh, generation. By far. Style, trick selection, nicest dude. Yeah. Speaking of style, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of style, he has he the best. He just uh, wrote the handbook. Yeah, he's one in a million. Look at the no grab tricks. He's doing a kickflip grab. See? Oh. Look at this. 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 Where's your hand? Where's your hand? And then the big back disaster. Definitely one of his staples. Back when he knows Grand Alley. I'm flying. You're not me. I'm me. Nobody's me. This is this is nothing. I don't even have to grab that 540. Jimmy's in the zone. We told you not to let him get in his zone. He's there and he can do whatever he wants. Even with that. Yeah, he has the intricate lip tricks, he has the flip tricks, he has flip lip tricks. He has fives and really good board control, no grab tricks, lots of no grab fives, no grab back threes. Does nobody know how impossible a no grab five is? 
I mean, that is like the best combination. Combo. What a moment for the Columbus kid. Earning the first ever X Games Chiba gold medal. Wow. X Games was the one event that you threw caution to the wind. I feel like Best Trick was what X Games was really all about, especially in the beginning. It, it was before YouTube, it was before social media. And, you know, you had video parts that came out, but if ever a new trick was gonna be thrown, it was gonna be thrown at X Games. The beginning of freestyle motocross, things evolved so fast because there really wasn't a platform before X Games, and the progression, it, it elevated so far from, you know, the first X Games in 1999 uh, through 2006 with a double backflip. And it was all due to X Games and them putting us on this pedestal where we got to show off uh, what was possible. The future of FMX is only limited by what the riders are willing to do. And seeing some of the guys that are coming up and girls, it's absolutely phenomenal to watch the evolution. Some of the top athletes in X Games are from Japan. I, I think the, the Japanese culture uh, is very excitable. As far as a rider, you want to ride in front of a crowd that's on the edge of their seat, that really is amped and excited to see what's going on. And I feel like Japan is that place that you can go where the crowd is on your side. And I'm really excited to see how that enthusiasm elevates the riding. The action continues here at X Games Chiba as we bring you one of our favorites. It's now time for Moto X Best Flip. Oh, oh my wow. Tyler Behrman. Bob Parsons, our oldest competitor in the field at 40 years old. The greatest part about X Games is you go out and you have to push the boundaries of what anyone believed was possible. Yeah, Parsons will get his third run in. Parsons now finds himself in that top spot. Here he goes. Can he retake first place from Parsons? Trying to edge back into that top spot. It's just absolutely amazing how far the ramps evolved, how far the riders evolved, how far the bikes and the equipment has evolved. Looks like we're gonna get the victory lap here for Mr. Parsons. Style it out one more time for the fans here inside the Zozo Marine Stadium. I'm looking forward to, to be able to watch this for, you know, the rest of my life. So congratulations to all our competitors out here today at Moto X Best Whip. But at the end of the day, it was Tom Parsons, the 40-year-old reigning supreme, earning his third X Games gold medal to his trophy case. To me, it's all it starts in the passion. And it's, it's all about the small wins. And then that's where the like self-belief and never quitting comes into play. Oh! Yeah! I think skateboarding just teaches you how to be like strong and, and tough. The ultimate goal is like, I mean, for me personally, I just try to stand out to show a different side of skating and one that I'm like stoked on. Every time I want to come back and like learn more stuff. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I win or get last place, I still want to like keep doing better. Oh That'll my! Make. I think for a lot of us, it takes seeing somebody else do something to prove like one that that itself is capable, but like, oh, what if you add things to it? Oh, it's over. Stop. You're done. That's huge right there. Competitions are so high level nowadays that there really isn't that much time to really play it safe. Oh. Not giving up and continuously being able to persevere through something that doesn't seem like it's going to work every time until it does work. If you're not going to fully Give it 100%, there's no way you're gonna get even close to it. That is going to seal it. Whether you're competing with everyone around you or yourself, I think it's that personal mental battle of like, I want it. I'm chasing that. I want that personal high. I wanna be able to take this home, regardless of the result. X Games Japan kicks off the Summer of X. The men and women of skate, BMX, and FMX will push the limits and take us all on a thrilling ride. 
showcasing their talents and passion while they chase progression. Next up is Tony Hawk's Vert Alert in Salt Lake City, Utah. And then the X Games roared to life in Southern California for the summer, with contests in San Diego and Los Angeles, before culminating with three days of incredible finals on Ventura Beach, where we are all set to showcase the best action sports stars battling for X Games gold. Come with us on this epic journey. We'll see you all at the next stop.